Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make watercolor bookmarks. Since next week is Valentine's Day, these will be Valentine's Day themed bookmarks. But of course you can do whatever kind of bookmarks you would like. I will show you three different techniques to make them. The first technique is using white crayon under your watercolor washes. The second technique is using pen or colored pencil over the top of your washes. And the third technique is to make a heart shaped bookmark. These are the supplies that you need. You need watercolor paper some watercolors, a paintbrush, water in a container, a paper towel, and then these are the optional supplies that you can use. You will need a white crayon for the first technique. For the second technique, you need a fine tip permanent marker like this micron pen right here, or a colored pencil. You need scissors to cut them out. You can use a hole punch and some string if you want to add those to your bookmark. You can use a ruler to measure your bookmarks if you want to, or you can just use some masking tape. If you're just beginning, you might want to use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Those are analogous colors. If you want your card to be a little bit more neutral or gray, you can use colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. You do not have to use the colors that I'm using. And that's it, let's get started. So the white crayon technique is really simple. Wherever you draw with your white crayon, when you paint over the top of it with your watercolors, that area will stay white. The white crayon resists the watercolors. All right, so with your crayon, you can write letters, simple shapes, or you can do patterns, any kind of pattern. You can just do dots. All right, so you can't see what I just drew. It's going to magically appear when I paint over it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a puddle over here with some purple and a little bit of red. So I'm just trying to make a puddle that's big enough that I can cover up this area without having to mix my colors again. So as you paint over it, those drawings are going to appear. So you can kind of see how this one works. It's going to resist it. The first thing you wanna do is figure out what shape you want your bookmarks to be. They do not have to be rectangular. I'm going to be using rectangular ones for this tutorial because it's just easier for me to show you. As long as they'll fit in whatever book that person's using. You can use a ruler to trace the shape of your bookmark or you can use masking tape. I prefer masking tape because it allows me to create a really simple white frame. So my bookmarks are going to be inside of this tape. I'll make some tall ones, maybe some skinnier ones. So draw out the shape of your bookmarks or use tape to indicate where those bookmarks will be. So these white areas will be where my bookmarks are. And I'm just pressing the tape down to create a seal. And then we're going to get our white crayon and we are going to start drawing in some designs. So I've just changed the angle of my camera so you can see a little bit better what I'm drawing. So if you're having a hard time seeing what you're drawing and it's just adjust your lighting, go somewhere else where you can kind of get lighting from an angle and you can see where you're drawing on that paper. It's really hard when you're looking at it from above to see what you're drawing. So in this one, I'm going to write a word. In this one, I'm going to draw a picture. And in these two, I'm going to draw some patterns. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the side. You can kind of see where I've drawn in crayon, and now I'm going to move to the top and start painting these. All right, now let's get started. Let's paint some washes in. So this first one, we're just gonna use two colors. Whatever colors you want, just make a puddle that's big enough that you can cover that whole thing. The reason I like to use puddles is because your colors will blend together a lot smoother. So I'm gonna use a red, and then I'm just gonna make like a, a little bit of a red violet that I'm going to move it into. So you're gonna just start at the top and move to the bottom. And also, if you're left-handed, you probably wanna start on the right side and move to the left. If you get big areas of watercolor on your crayon, you can just go back in with your paintbrush and just touch it and kind of soak it up. You could also use your paper towel. Okay, in this one, we're going to just be using red and water. So I'm creating a nice bright red here. So I'm starting with the red, I'm starting at the top, and then I'm dipping my paintbrush in my water and just painting next to my red. And I'm also taking off some of the color of my paint on a paper towel. And then I'm dipping back in my red. Just the fading that happens is kind of nice in this one. So we're just using water and our watercolors in the second one. In the third one, if you're using colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, this is what it will look like. So I'm gonna paint like a purple and a yellowy orange in this side. So I'm gonna start at the bottom on this one. And I didn't mix up my color, so I'm just gonna grab from straight in the orange. I should have mixed up a puddle first, that's okay. And then I can grab my purple again if I want, or I can stay in my orange. Okay, and in this third one, I'll just show you what it looks like if you're using four or five colors together. So maybe I will start with my purple since I have it, and I'll go all the way to yellow. Purple, red, and I'm just overlapping the colors slightly. And I could even go into green, I have room, and I'll even go into blue. There you go, now you know how to make a rainbow. After this is dry, make sure it's dry, look at it. If there's any shiny areas, it's not dry, but if it's flat and there isn't any shiny parts, take your tape off, and then you can go ahead and cut these into your bookmarks. You can choose to leave 
leave a little white border if you want, or you can just cut it right onto the color. The second technique is using pen or colored pencil over the top of your watercolors. You can also use pen underneath your watercolors, but I, I prefer to do it after. So for the second one, let's do the same thing. We're going to take our tape, or you can do this with a ruler and pencil, and we're just going to define where our bookmarks are going to be. This is also nice because you can make so many at one time. Now, of course, whatever you draw in these is totally up to you. You could write poetry, you could draw pictures. I'm just gonna show you a few different things. But the first thing you need to do is create some washes in these. So just like we did with our crayon washes, do the same thing in these ones and choose whatever colors you want. So fill them in with washes, and um, hopefully from the part before, you learned kind of how to do that. These ones, since we are drawing over the top of it, if you're using colored pencils, you can make it a little bit darker. But if you're not using colored pencils, you might want to paint it just a little bit lighter. We're going to do a wet and wet wash in this one. So what you're going to do is just paint a ton of water on it so it's really wet, then we'll drop colors into it. You have to do this while it's wet or it won't really work. Choose whatever colors you want and you just touch it and drop it in. And this is just gonna keep bleeding and keep blending. In this one, we're going to use water and our color to just make it a little bit lighter. Start painting your color on there and then I'm just going to dip right into my water and then come next to that, grab more color. So basically what, what we should be getting here is just some light areas and some dark areas. In this last one, do whatever, just have fun with it. Paint whatever colors you would like. I'm just gonna use the colors that I have and you don't have to paint stripes either and then let it dry, and then I'll show you some different pen techniques and color pencil techniques we can do over the top of these washes. All right, once your paint is dry, go ahead and remove your tape. All right, and now you can choose what you wanna put inside of these, and you can use a colored pencil or a pen. And I'll just kinda of give you some ideas and show you some things that I do, but of course you can draw whatever you want in these, and you can also write whatever you want. So in one of these, you could write some poetry, poetry that you've made up yourself, or a quote that reminds you of that person. So I will write um, just a line from a song that I like. So I'm gonna write it in this one. And in this one, we can just draw, I mean, you could really, the possibilities are endless. Somebody I saw did something really cool where they did almost like a landscape. So they put kind of like an ocean or something, and then they had a mountain. And then above it, they kind of put like these birds flying up in the sky. It's really cool on Etsy, I saw this. You might even want to take the washes and try to make them into something. Like these almost look like they're flowers, so you could put some of the flowers in. So look inside of that wash that you did and see if you can see anything inside of it. And now let me show you how you would use your pen or your colored pencil. So you can use whatever color you want. If it's darker, you might want to use a lighter color. If it's lighter, you might want to use a darker color. So in this one, I'm just going to start drawing some shapes and I'm just going to draw patterns over the top of this. And if you want to know how to do this technique, just click on this link and you can use two different colors. So color pencil looks really cool over the top of these as well. And then take your scissors and cut them out. Okay, this is the third technique. So here's the example that I did before. So you just kind of decide how big you want your heart bookmark to be. When it's in the book, it's going to be folded over the side of the page. So just kind of figure out how big you want your bookmark. And then you can even use a pencil or a colored pencil to just kind of figure out how big you want the area to be and just draw it in. For this one, you can use any of the techniques. You could use all of them together. I'm just going to be doing a simple one with my crayon where I'm just going to be putting some um, different patterns and designs on it. All right, once you've drawn whatever you're going to draw in there with your crayon, or you can draw on it after with your pen, go ahead and take your watercolors and let's just fill this in with color. Sometimes I, I overlap my colors just to get them to blend a little bit more and they don't need to blend. This can be as flat as you want it to be. Let this dry and then I'll show you how to cut out a heart. Okay, my two puddles are not dry, but I'm just gonna show you how to make the heart really quickly out of this. So you wanna find the middle and just fold your paper in half and you could fold it in half this way or you could fold it in half this way. That way it looks kinda cool, hmm. Fold your paper in half. Then you wanna take a pencil or a pen and draw half of a heart. I will, I'll drop mine a little bit bigger so you can kinda of see what it looks like. You can make it taller, shorter. There's a lot of ways that you can do this. Then you're just gonna keep your paper folded in half and cut it out. 
And your heart might be taller, shorter, wider. You can write a Valentine's message in here if you'd like. I like this bookmark a lot more than the ones that go on the corner because this one's easier to put on. You can put it on the top of the page or on the side of the page. So that's how that one works. Also, something that I like to do, since these are your own unique little pieces of art, I like to just put my signature in it and it makes it a little bit more custom. So you can even just put your initials and then the year. You might want to take a hole punch and put some string through it. You really just need to knot it once and it should stay. Just tie it in a knot and there you go. Some people like these on their bookmarks. It makes it a little bit easier to find your page. So again, write or draw whatever you want, but now you know these three different way simple ways to make bookmarks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. And if you're worried that you don't have a Valentine or someone to give these to, I promise if you look around, you will find somebody to give them to. There's always somebody that could use a little cheering up. So maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's someone that you don't even know, but I guarantee there's somebody that you can give these to. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe. And I love seeing your work on Instagram and I'm gonna try to feature it on my Instagram account. So keep posting, keep using the hashtag Mr. Otter Studio or Mr. Otter Art Studio. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.